I seriously never thought I was gonna make this video. The channel's been running for over five years at this point. I've made over 750 videos at this point, many of which I took down in embarrassment because they were old and I wasn't happy with them. If you're a creator, don't do that. You should never be embarrassed that you're passionate about something and putting yourself out there. If you've been following for the last few weeks, I ticked over 100,000 subscribers. And a few days ago, I got this. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. <laughs> I, it, I'm pretty excited about this. It's cool. The truth is it is really nice, but it wouldn't have been possible if it weren't for me finding other people who were creating amazing things. Not just about transit and cities, but about everything. Creating stuff is not easy, but it's really special. Of course, as cliche as it is, I also would never have gotten here if it weren't for you. I hope my videos have informed you about different transit systems and different cities, or at the very least that they've made you ask some questions or think about things differently. That said, I really do care about talking about transit and making transit better and promoting transit and positivity about it often. From weekends to late nights making videos to 5 a.m. train trips today, Literally, I'm very tired. I love making the content that I do because there's a ton out there to talk about and there are a lot of really passionate, fantastic people to create communities with around transit. The internet is super powerful in its ability to make being super, super passionate about something quite niche, reasonably acceptable. Now, I love this platform, YouTube. I have spent more time on YouTube, learned more things on YouTube, and watched more content than I care to admit, but it's been awesome. But YouTube can be tricky, and after five years of very intense video making, I want to make sure I have a community that transcends a single platform. So if you haven't already, seriously, go follow me on Instagram or Twitter. And if you ever can't find my YouTube channel, that way you'll at least have an idea of where to find me. A lot of people ask me if I have a normal job. And actually the truth is that right now, making content about transit in cities is my job. And that feels like a really amazing thing. It's especially possible because of my patrons and YouTube members who I owe quite a lot to. If you've ever thought about supporting me on either of those platforms, it does mean a lot, and it really helps stabilize things in the often stormy waters of the algorithm. Now, I used to do a lot of Q and A's on the channel, and people will often ask, you know, are you gonna cover this city? Would you talk about this city in the future? And the truth is, I wanna talk about every city I can talk about. As long as I keep making content, I wanna keep exploring new, different, and interesting places around the world. I'd love to cover all of the world's transit systems, or at least create something bigger than myself that could in the long term. Now, there may be a bit of an elephant in the room, and that's that some, a few of my videos from recently have gone missing from the channel. I'm trying my best to sort that out, but it may take some time. If you're looking for content, I do have a couple of years of videos for you to watch, and I think there are actually some hidden gems in there, so go check them out. Saying all of that, I should say that the past two plus years have been really hard for everyone. But with making so many videos, moving so many times, recurring health issues, and not one proper vacation, I do think some rest and relaxation is in order. So if I disappear for a while at some point this year, assume that hopefully it's because I'm taking a vacation. We shall see. So with all of that out of the way, what's next? Well, you may have noticed, but I'm actually slowing my uploads down. Now, this isn't something I'm doing lightly. Putting food on the table has historically meant making a lot of content. But now that the channel is sufficiently large in my personal opinion, it feels like the right time to slowly start making less content so that I can focus on making each video even better. I hope you've been noticing some of that already in the past week or so, more animations, more footage and pictures and different stuff. Just a classier video overall. Classy transit videos. 2022. Inspired by Paige Saunders, I'm also kind of test running my videos with patrons and YouTube members, so hopefully there are less typos and things like that in the future as well. Now, I'm always a little bit nervous about the platforms I rely on becoming less reliable, and so looking forward, I am thinking of ways I can branch out. The YouTube channel is obviously here to stay, for as long as I'm here to stay. But something I've been doing a lot of recently is reading Substacks, and they've actually been super fun. So I've kind of been thinking about starting one. So if you think that would be interesting, leave a comment down below. I'm also sort of thinking of doing more niche Patreon exclusive content that wouldn't 
perform well on YouTube. And I think that would be a really cool way of being able to produce some stuff that I want to make, but that I feel like I can't make. At the same time, people often ask if I might go work in the transit industry. And truth be told, I have thought about getting more involved in transit again in the professional sense. Honestly, I think doing something like communications or media relations for a transit system or systems could actually be a really cool job. So I'm always thinking about these things, especially because I kind of care about the way we talk about and communicate transit, right? If I know anything, it's that I wanna have a real impact on the transit space going forward into the future, whether it be on YouTube or on Twitter, or by literally going down to the street and personally painting bus lanes myself. So if you ever have a cool opportunity, feel free to reach out or just reach out anyways, because I love chatting with people who are interested in cities and transit. Over the past five years and beyond, thank you so much for putting up with my face, watching my videos and sharing this really uncommon but awesome passion with me. It's something I really love. Thanks for watching.